How do we create income with rental properties? That's today's video. Let's dive in. Hey there, I'm Clayton Morris. I'm the founder of Morris Invest, longtime real estate investor. I've rehabbed hundreds of properties and my wife and I buy real estate in order to create cash flow and income. And that's probably why you are watching this video today. You're curious, number one, about creating income with rental properties. And number two, you're probably, I don't know, a little nervous, scared, confused, want to learn, want to try to figure out exactly how this whole thing comes together. Well, that's what today's video is all about. We're going to kind of keep it nice and broad and accessible for you to dive into this. Now, you probably have heard the value of real estate and you know with everything that's about to happen in the stock market over the next few years that that is going to be one of the safest places you can put your money is into real estate, an actual physical asset that someone rents from you and sends you a monthly rent check. Now, why does this work? We've always heard the term, right, that, well, people need what? Shelter and food, right? Shelter and food. People are always going to need a place to live. And there are certain markets across this country where there is a demand, a, a greater demand for rental property. They're not building properties. Uh, the contractors are out there with their cranes and backhoes building. So there's actually a higher demand for rental properties. Uh, and those are the, the cities across this country where I purchase my properties. Uh, we have a whole series of videos here on the channel that can help you in this journey. We have videos on why the best rental properties are not in your backyard. Uh, we have a series of videos on how to figure out return on investment. But in today's video, I want to talk sort of broadly about creating income from rental properties. Why does this work? Well, it works for a number of reasons if you purchase them correctly. You need to be able to purchase your properties in areas where there's a demand for rental properties, right? There's an area where whether it's near a university, near hospitals, in towns where they don't have a lot of rental properties, where the job base is growing, people are, more people are moving there, they want to live there for three years, they don't want to live there permanently, they need a place to rent. Why shouldn't they be renting from you? Um, the other way, reason that this works is because even in a down economy, uh, when we buy in our blue collar neighborhoods where we buy our rental properties, those people tend not to lose their jobs. Typical person who rents from me, a long haul trucking person who drives trucks for a living and they need a place to hang their hat and they're not home very often, they're on the road, but they've got a stable, blue collar, hardworking job. They, uh, postal employee, someone who works for the United States Post Office, has a couple of kids at home and works long term with a federal job. Nurses, people who work at the hospital system near my properties. These are jobs that even in a down economy, don't tend to go away. In fact, you may be even able to raise rents in certain properties during a down economy. Why? Because there's even a greater demand for rental properties because people can't buy the homes in a down economy. So those are some key reasons why rental properties always work, right? People don't want to commit to buying properties. Millennials are not buying real estate at a young age anymore. They're waiting until they're in their 30s and 40s before they're buying a property. What do they have to do in the meantime? They have to rent. There's an incredible demand for rental properties right now. So that's one of the, those are a couple of reasons why it works. Now, you're probably watching this video thinking, well, can I replace my, my daily job, my nine to five job with rental property income? And the answer is absolutely 100%. Yes, you can do it. Now, two things probably spring to mind. Great, I have cash on hand right? Cash in my bank account that I can buy properties today. Or number two, I do not have cash on hand and I'm going to need to use a mortgage or private financing. Those are your two options. If you have cash on hand, you're obviously in a, in a better position to be able to just go out and find great rental properties and immediately see the return on investment. We call that a cash on cash return. Cash goes out, $40,000 for a rental property, like those are the ones that I buy and I talk about here on the channel. And then cash comes in in the form of rent. Now, that's cash on cash return. If you need to use leverage, that is a mortgage, then you're obviously paying a mortgage to acquire your property with some down payment money. And it's going to be a little bit longer to see the benefits of positive cash flow on your property, but that's fine. That's fine. 
you're, you're adding to your net worth by purchasing that property. And then in a few years, as you pay down the mortgage on that property, you'll get to experience the full benefits of that cash that is coming in from the tenant. So two different ways to approach purchasing properties, and we discuss each of those ways here on the channel, so private money, mortgages, et cetera, in using cash to acquire properties. So for the sake of argument, let's say you're paying cash for rental properties, and you want to pick up a number of properties in order to create passive income in your life. Well, what would that look like? Well, the problem that most people create for themselves is they don't think of the end first. They don't uh, think of where they want to go. They don't picture the end of the road. They basically just throw some money at properties and want to buy a few. I think that's the wrong way to do it. My encouragement to you is to begin to think about what your freedom number looks like. What number do you want to hit with you and your wife or your wife and your husband that will cover all of your monthly expenses and to truly give you sort of that financial freedom that you're looking for? I have a simple download. It's called my, I call it my freedom cheat sheet. It's totally free. It's three pages. You just sit down with your husband or wife and kind of go through it. Here's a little link right here in this video. You can download it and go through it and figure out how, you know, what does your monthly expense number look like? Is it $10,000 a month that runs your family? I'm talking groceries, gas for the car, uh, your mortgage payment, uh, kids' school, all of those things. What does that total number look like? And then we're going to figure out how many rental properties it would take to cover that, to create income every month that would cover uh, all of your monthly expenses. That to me is true financial freedom. So we want to then build up and acquire a number of rental properties in our portfolio that will cover those monthly expenses. That's the goal. That is the goal. Not only that, but we're increasing our net worth. So there's a couple, it's a three pronged attack, right? We're creating that cash flow. Number two, we are then also adding to our net worth. So if we buy a $40,000 house, our net worth goes up by the value of that house. Might be worth 50, we bought it for 40. Now our net worth went up by $50,000. And number three, the tax benefits of owning real estate can offset your other income from your salaried job. Because you're buying, the reason this works is because you're going to now be buying rental properties in an LLC or a business entity, a legal entity. What that does is that enables you to write off the expenses from that rental property against your salary. Therefore, your overall tax burden plummets. And look, all the laws in this country were written by members of Congress, and almost every member of Congress is a real estate investor. Why? Coincidence? No. The laws in this country favor entrepreneurship. They favor investors. And therefore, the tax code is so beneficial for you as a rental investor. I mean, it really helps you tremendously. And we have, again, multiple videos on this subject here on the channel. So I hope you can explore and go through a lot of the different tax benefits and things like that. And you'll discover what I'm really talking about. We dive deep in some other areas. So that three-pronged attack, right? We're creating cash flow. So every month, rent checks are coming in. Let's say you own three properties, $700 a month. You're bringing in about $2,100 a month from three houses. $2,100 a month. What would that do for your life? Would that change things for you and your, for you and your family? To have those rental properties producing $2,100 a month for you in cash flow? Of course it would. Then why don't you add another three properties on top of that? Now you're bringing in $4,200 a month. You see how it starts to snowball? It gets so exciting. You can achieve this even if you don't have the cash up front to purchase properties. You can, of course, get creative with private financing, with using mortgages, and structure your purchasing of real estate that way. And you can get creative and you can get to that same level as the person that has cash to buy properties. Trust me, I see it every day, the investors that we work with who don't have cash ready to go and who are able to buy properties. You can do it. So that is how you can create income from rental properties. It, it's how, I, don't, I cannot name a better investment anywhere in the world than cash flow from rental real estate. There, there simply isn't. The tax benefits, uh, 
the, the freedom that you create, the increase to your net worth, and the beauty of owning real estate is that it's a tangible asset that can never go down to zero dollars in value. The stock market can. Stocks can plummet down to zero. Rental real estate, owning property, cannot. Even if you own raw land, you own a building, even if your place burns down, it's still worth something. So that is why this works. That is why this whole system works. That's why I've devoted my life to it and to acquiring rental real estate and helping others figure this out. We have so many great videos here on the channel. Please, if you're not already a subscriber, just hit the big subscribe button right there. And we publish videos multiple times a week here on the Morris Invest YouTube channel. Our goal is to help you take action, get out there and become a real estate investor. Stop hanging around in internet forums and talking yourself out of taking action. That's our goal. I would love to hear your comments and suggestions below in the comments thread on this video. Any questions you have about real estate, I always answer them. And we'll see you back here on the next video, everyone.